Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be creating a stylized bamboo material using the Substance Designer, obviously. So this one's going to be relatively easy and simple. I believe it only took about half an hour to create. So I'm going to essentially make it by creating a tile generator and a gradient. I usually use the tile sampler, but in this case the tile generator was the best choice, in my opinion. To get that uneven uh, bamboo pieces. So essentially I'm just dragging a gradient map onto the tile generator to create the bamboo sticks. And I'm just going to change some of the settings to get the actual shape so that it starts to look more like bamboo but yeah this one's pretty simple it's mostly using the tile generator like I mentioned and changing some of the settings like scale and offsetting as well of the actual sticks so that they don't line up with each other so I initially tried it with a tile sampler node but the bamboo pieces were, they were looking too even. They weren't really offsetting uh, the way I wanted them to be. And so I tried the tile generator and it gave me pretty much exactly what I was looking for. One thing I did do, I added a non-uniform blur just to make it a little bit less, um, less sharp. And so that some of the pieces were just a little bit more blurred and not too, too sharp, obviously. And then another thing I did is I tried to add a little bit more variation to the actual color of it. So I'm going to use a noise with the slow blur and pretty much combine that. And then I'm going to use also a edge detect and a flop fill and I'm going to use the flop fill mapper to change the location scale and just uh, variation of the noise and I'm going to use that noise pretty much for the colors and not really I think I do set it through the normal map a little bit just so there's a little bit of noise but not too much And then for the colors, for stylized colors, I always like to use a curvature smooth and a gradient after that. Uh, mainly because using a curvature smooth gives you some nice edges that you can add color to. So in this case for the color I did use, I did sample from an image. Uh, so I had an image of a bamboo material, or well not material but an actual image of bamboo sticks. So I just sampled the colors from that. Obviously it's mainly like a yellow type color. And then I also used an ambient occlusion to mask a little bit of the edges and just get more color, uh, more different colors into the actual color map. It's always a good idea to introduce different colors to your color map texture so that it just doesn't look completely flat. And then one thing I wanted to do is add something that pretty much wrapped around the, the bamboo sticks so something that made it look like they were being I don't know this kind of like a fence type thing where the the rope in this case I decided to go with a rope type thing kind of wraps around the bamboo sticks so I'm going to use those ropes and just use a high plant for that and I also used a mask to make it look a little bit more like um, 
like they were pushing in, like the ropes are pushing in a little bit onto the bamboo sticks. So I used the mask for that and blurred it a little bit. And then obviously I also changed the color of the rope so that it's a little bit different. Now the rope, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same color but I did desaturate it and made it just a little bit brighter as well. Just so that you can, you can see the difference between the rope and the actual bamboo sticks and that the ropes don't blend in too much onto the uh, bamboo sticks. And then one last thing I decided to do was maybe add some uh, like plants that are coming through the bamboo sticks, like some leaves. So for that I just used the waveform node. Uh, that's typically the way to go if you're making things like leaves. Uh, one thing I did not do for it is I did not warp it. I think it's a good idea to warp it just to add more variation to the actual shape. Uh, but in this case I kept it relatively straight. And then I essentially um, masked it so that the, the leaves only for the most part show up in between the bamboo sticks and they don't show up too much uh, on top of the actual bamboo. Looking back at it now, I think I would probably spend more time on that, making sure that uh, they don't come through the bamboo sticks. I think some of them do come out uh, a little bit, like they look like they're on top of the bamboo sticks, um, which is not bad, but I think I think it would have looked better if they were only coming through the, through the gaps between the bamboo sticks. And then obviously I used a gradient map for that to make them green. And I was just playing with the size of them. Uh, but anyway, this is pretty much it for this material. This was a pretty simple one. Obviously, as you can see, my graph is really simple. I didn't use too many nodes. I usually try to not use as many nodes. I usually don't like to use too many nodes for these materials uh, because I just like to keep them simple. I think the simple the better. So that's pretty much for this material. So here's the render that I got from uh, Marmoset Toolback. So that's pretty much it for this video. And uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And so I will see you in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in the reel, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine, so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything, 
So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.